Welcome to the Inside Look. I'm Ken Bykoff. The Hoosiers take on Indiana State this Saturday at Memorial Stadium, and Indiana will be looking for its 10th win in its last 11 season openers at home. Here's some facts you need to know about the Sycamores. First off, they're a football championship subdivision team, which used to be known as Division I AA. Last season, IU picked up its only win of the year against another FCS school, South Carolina State. Indiana State has gone 6-5 and five in back-to-back -back seasons, and they are currently ranked number 23 in the country in the preseason FCS poll. The Sycamores are 0-3 all-time versus Indiana. You know, there are really three keys to the Hoosiers in this one. Number one, contain Shakir Bell. Bell ran for more than 1,600 yards last season and is on the Walter Payton Award watch list. And for an Indiana defense that gave up just short of 3,000 yards rushing last year, keeping Bell under control will be critical to building confidence for the defense. Number two, keep Ben Obasecki out of the backfield. Now, Indiana State's talented defensive end is a disruptive force, and he'll be itching to flush IU quarterback Trey Roberson out of the pocket. Indiana's offensive tackles have to get out of their stance quickly and force Obaseki to work every down to have a presence. And number three, play with some swagger on defense. The Hoosiers gave up 448 points last year and turned in one of the worst defensive performances in the country in 2011. But that was last year. With some new blood in the lineup and a fresh start, the Hoosiers can't allow any big plays early and must shut down the Sycamores' attack from the opening kickoff. Now here's a final fun fact. Remember how I said earlier this is the fourth meeting between the two teams? Well, in the first three games between the two schools, Indiana outscored Indiana State 119-10 and posted a shutout in the first battle in 1925. Kickoff for the start of the 128th year of Hoosier football will be at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and the game will be televised on the Big Ten Network. For the Inside Look, I'm Ken Bygoff.